Welcome to the last chapter of Ingress Online Training. On this chapter, we will focus on the basic setup of Ingress software including data download management, database management, user account and user role, and many more. Let's get started with the basic settings of the system. To change the basic settings of the system, go to the system setting tab, then click on the system option. To make changes to the available options in the list, click on the edit button and start with it. You can change the language of the software from the available language to your preferred language. Based on the payroll system that you guys are using, you are able to change the date format from the available options. You can select to have the year month day format, day month year format and month date year format. The time format as well as the date format can be changed from the available selection. You can select to have the 24-7 format or the AMPM format. The hour format refers to the format that the time inside the attendance sheet will be calculated and displayed inside the system. You can select to have an hour hour minute minute format or have hour 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 format. Our hour 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 format refers to the decimal point or decimal time of minute per hour. There are three different types of calendars you can select to have the system run on. Georgian calendar as the most commonly used calendar, Persian calendar for the countries that follow the Persian calendar, and Hijri calendar. Mini visual map display number refers to the visual maps that you want to add to the monitoring tab of the Ingress software. You can select to have 6 mini visual maps, 9 or maximum 12 mini visual maps displayed on your monitoring tab. To set the automatic log off time from the Ingress system, you can set the time at the auto log off in minutes at this option. As you guys are aware of, Ingress software constantly has updates within two months. You can select to be notified for the updates online and perform the update through the software itself by taking this option. In case you need the server of Ingress software to run while you just turn on your PC, you select this option. Enable troubleshooting logging is for the programmers of Ingress software to be able to troubleshoot the errors any clients or any user faces on the system. Hence, it is suggested to leave it unticked until necessary. Inside Ingress software, you can select to have the user ID input format as numeric or alphanumeric. Alphanumeric format at this moment is only supported by devices that are running on the new core board named as FMM core board. At the attendance tab, you can configure the setting of automatic download intervals for transactions from the terminals. Press on the edit option then set the first option for automatic download intervals to the software from the terminal. For example, if you set this option to 1 hour, the software will automatically connect to the device every 1 hour and downloads all the new transactions from the terminal to the software. Please be reminded that for the software to be able to download all the transactions using the automatic download interval, you are needed to make sure that the server is at least running all the time. If you select the remove transaction lock after download, every time the software connects to the device to download the new transactions, it will remove all the existing transactions inside the device. You can also specify two times at a day to download the transactions from the terminal. For example, if you set this option to 12 am 
and 12 pm. At 12 am, the device will be connected to the software for downloading the transactions. And one more time, at 12 pm, the software will download the transactions from the device. Once again, for the software to be able to download all the transactions, it is needed to run the server all the time. You can also select perform daily download when computer is powered on. This means once the computer is turned on and the server is running, the device will be connected to the software and the software will pull the data from the device. Server generate audit data interval. You can set the interval for the server to generate the audit data inside the software. For example, if you set this time to 30 minutes, every 30 minutes, the software will generate audit data inside the software. In case any of the users are suspended or the expiry date has reached, and you want the system to still display the users inside the user list of the software, tick this option. However, if you want the suspended or expired users to be hidden from the users list, leave this option unticked. In case you are a user of pay class setting, you can tick this option to yes. By ticking this option, the pay class setting will appear inside the attendance tab. Pay class refers to the flexi clocking schedule that one can configure for each user separately. Setting pay class flexi clocking schedule for the users, you do not need to configure any group duty rosters for the users. Pay class is most commonly used by US based organizations or companies. In case you want the edited data inside the attendance sheet to be displayed as original clocking, you can set this option to yes. By right, every time you edit a clocking inside the attendance sheet, the software will display it with a bolded color. However, by selecting this option, the data will be displayed in original format. If you are a user of Office TA, you can set this option to enable the work code option upon performing any kind of transaction through the software.